Arizona Restaurant Week usually brings in, of course, big crowds to food hotspots all across our state. But this year, of course, it's a different story as the coronavirus outbreak has caused those restaurants to close and then only offer takeout or delivery. So the Arizona Restaurant Association, they're pivoting, they're getting creative. This year, foodies can now participate in Restaurant Takeout Week, and it's starting right now, and it's going on indefinitely. And what we're asking our community now is, look, we are still a food source to the public. We still need to get you food. We're still open for business. It's just going to be a little different. It's going to be through pickup or delivery. More than 100 restaurants now participating in this takeout week. That includes Original Breakfast House, Federal Pizza, Jewel's Bakery and Cafe, Pita Jungle, and Wildflower Tucson, and boy, there's a lot more. So just look on our website for everybody that's participating. And the push to get more people dining out through takeout is also stirring up some controversy. Concerns have now been raised that any contact with restaurant workers or the food that they make is still a potential health risk. That same can be said for going to the grocery store or maybe even filling up for gas. Our Jason Berry breaks down what you need to know. It's a question my wife and I have been debating for days. Are we putting our health at risk by ordering takeout from our favorite restaurant? I'm told the coronavirus can survive on containers and bags, but there are things you can do to reduce your risk. It's supposed to be fairly safe getting takeout food from your favorite restaurant, but not everyone is convinced. I saw Starbucks and I thought, well, is everybody taking care of themselves while they're serving because they're reaching out the window and they're talking to people too and we're not supposed to be that close. The coronavirus has everyone on edge wondering what they should and shouldn't do. I think if you just follow the six foot rule. Dr. Dan Kwan is an emergency physician with the Valley Wise Health Medical Center. He said the coronavirus can live on food containers and takeout bags, but there are things you can do to reduce the chances of being exposed. If you're concerned that maybe a, a container is contaminated, pour it out into a container, pour the food out into a container, dispose of the container, wash your hands. It's, it's hard to avoid no matter what. So even if you have a person delivering the food to you or you go pick up the food, I mean, there's still, still people um, handling the container anyway, whether it's the person making the food or the person that's going to deliver it, there's still a risk. Health experts say there's also a risk going to the grocery store, so wipe down everything you can and keep washing up and using hand sanitizer. Gas stations are also a concern. We spotted a number of people taking precautions while filling up at the pump. Glenn Wyke of Phoenix calls it our new way of life. Anytime I go out in public, I'm trying to be careful about touching surfaces that others are touching. And then as soon as I hop in my car, hand sanitizing as well. Can't be too careful? No, nope, not at all. Doctors tell me it's also a good idea to take a disinfectant wipe and rub down a bag and to-go container just to give you some extra peace of mind. Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.